The, the picture of the air is, the pure air is nearly 78% is nitrogen, 21% is oxygen and rest 1% is something like this. But is it? Are we breathing this air? No. Is actually so small that it actually goes up to the lower areas of the alveoli. By 2021, which is the latest census, by 2021, out of 1.4 billion population, nearly 67%, nearly two thirds of Indian population is still living in villages, still living in rural area. All are getting so much exposed with this biomass fuel, which you need to understand. Now, uh, this is another picture, recent paper from 2023, which is suggesting that if the kitchen is without any partition, in the same area. So this was the study which was done in Cardiff. So you can just imagine that how much the people are doing. And they always say that we usually burn only one, one uh, other than your Lupati by nobody smoking. Actually, they are smoking 30 cigarettes or probably. So we understand that persistent exposure to all these pollutants about nitric oxide and other uh, oxides of carbon and sulfur, they can increase the prevalence of allergic rhinitis in children, various papers, what long-term air pollution can cause in allergic rhinitis, so the long-term pollutants will be different nitrogen oxides, particulate matters. So if a mother who is living, who is pregnant, who is living in Delhi, versus a mother who is pregnant, who is living in Kashmir, that the mother who is living in Delhi, they are high likely, the babies, the fetus of the child, uh, Rambon child, high likely that they can be driven to that TH2 pathway because these all pollutants are actually crossing the placenta and they are triggering the TH2 arm. Their core Ig levels have been found to be quite higher as compared to the people or the pregnant ladies uh, who are actually living in less quality areas. So what have the government has done? Government has done, okay, there is a lot of pollution, let's grow some plants, okay, combating the situation, let's grow the plant. Do everywhere, green, red, green, green, right, green revolution, which came. So cultivating green plants. Other planting which happen in Delhi also. If you just go there, everywhere there you will find a lot of plants. Has it helped? No. What happened? Politics were there. Plants you have given that actually combination of that increased allergies. Right? How pollution affects allergies? By the greenhouse effect. CO2 increases because of the pollution. Greenhouse effect happen and ultimately the pollination season increases. So the pollination starts earlier peaks higher, stays for a longer time, so the number of pollen leaves are more, produced are more. Even the allergenic quality of the pollen pollens are higher because the protein content is higher. So thank you sir for being the chairperson and you have done a great job. Thank you for doing this job. Thank you. Go towards allergic pathway or whether it will go towards a tolerant pathway. So this is the second last slide. It says that uh, are all plants are that? No. So there are certain plants which are natural air purifiers, so which are considered to be less allergenic or less pollen producing. So if next time you want to give someone a plant, so I think you should choose these type of plant or these plants which are really beautiful plants, uh, economical plants, uh, they are costing you somewhere like less than 1000 rupees or so, but they, they, these are the plants which are meant for the indoor plantation, not for the plants. So, uh, we understand that allergy starts here. It doesn't start here, it doesn't start here, it starts here. Right? And these are the risk factors and these are the preventive factors.